They show up at your front door. They're creepy with completely black eyes, and they want to come inside. You want to let us in? They are the Black Eyed Children. Welcome to Friday Night Ghost Frights from Haunted Road Media. I'm author and ghost story and Mike Ricksecker. Explore with us. Black Eyed Children are strange entities, often described as very pale, with completely black eyes, and wearing drab, almost oversized clothing. While their appearance is generally disheveled and shabby, it's the way they talk that causes alarm to most people. They're disconcertedly monotone. Appearing on your front doorstep or even at your car, they will demand entry, but in the most peculiar way. For some unknown reason, they insist on being invited in. And they will say just that, you want to invite us in. Along with other methods of persuasion regarding food, making odd statements like, it's food time, or they may even ask to come in and watch the TV, all the while keeping completely monotone. One disturbing line they've been known to say is, this won't take long. It's almost like the classic vampire lore of not being allowed to cross the threshold of the house unless they're invited in. Those who have encountered black-eyed children report they feel they're trapped in a fog with a sort of fight or flight sensation. Part of them wants to give in to the demand and just let them inside, while another part of them just wants to run. Witnesses have reported that once they've refused to let in the BEKs and avert their eyes from these children, the black-eyed kids will suddenly disappear. They'll look up and down the street, but they've completely vanished. Most black-eyed kids appear to be between the ages of six and 16, but this can vary. One account from our friend Christina George, who has been involved with the paranormal for decades and hosts the Paranormal Connections radio show, witnessed what may have been a black-eyed family that included a woman about 45 years old with two children around the age of 10. What's even more interesting is that when she first saw them, they had piercing blue eyes. But later on in the encounter, when Christina peered out through the window at them, they turned their heads in unison and they suddenly had completely black eyes. Black-eyed kids can even approach your car. They might come up to you while you're sitting inside, might be standing on the side of the road, or they might even approach you while you're just opening the door for yourself. Black-eyed children in these cases have been known to say, just let me in your car, we can go for a ride, and just open the door and tell me to get in. One particular man spooked so easily that he peeled out and sped off on one black-eyed kid, but he felt so remorseful seconds later and turned his car around. When he got back to the site a moment later, the black-eyed child had completely vanished. One woman had a scare with a black-eyed kid in a supermarket parking lot that also concerned her own child. She was just making a quick stop into the market for some milk and cereal and left her son out in her SUV. When she returned with her groceries, there was another boy sitting in the car with her son. This other boy had completely black eyes and stared at her coldly. The woman yanked her son out of the car and ran off into the store, told the store manager about it, and then called her husband. She was completely unnerved from the glare that she had received from this black-eyed child, but when they returned to the SUV, he was gone. She asked her son about this strange boy, and her son told her the boy had wanted a ride to their house and her son thought this was a boy that could come over and play. The mother asked, so he just got in the car? No, mommy, her son said. I asked him to get in. He said he wasn't allowed unless I asked him. When her husband arrived, the woman was so unnerved that she asked her husband to drive the SUV while she took their son and drove his truck. The husband agreed, but during his drive in the SUV, he was suddenly overcome by a noxious odor, almost passed out, and got into a car accident. Fortunately, he escaped with only minor injuries. Their son, however, suddenly came down very ill. At first, it seemed like he had the flu. Then the illness morphed into something that resembled the measles, but the doctor could never confirm that it was the measles. Eventually, the boy recovered, but was the husband's accident and the boy's illness the result of the interaction with the black-eyed child? People want to know what happens when you invite a black-eyed child into your home. Do they cause you harm? Do they take your life? Do they end up possessing you? There's very little information about what happens when you invite black-eyed children into your home. Does your memory get wiped? We really don't know, but this incident with the boy letting the black-eyed child into the SUV may give us some clues as to what really happens, and it really doesn't look very good at all. 
A common question I receive about black-eyed children is if the numbers of encounters with these entities is increasing. This question also gets lumped into the idea that BEKs are a newer type of phenomenon. Like with other supernatural phenomena, I don't necessarily think that the activity of black-eyed children is on the rise, I just think that there's more reporting of it. What I mean is that we now live in an age in which information is a lot more readily available, and reporting this type of phenomena is a lot easier to do. It's also something that's a lot more accepted these days than it had been decades ago, so people are more willing to talk about it and share their experiences. Since there have been a number of sightings these days, why don't we see more photos of black-eyed children? There's a couple of reasons for this. First of all, the witnesses are in a state of anxiety. They're being completely creeped out and they're in that fight or flight state of mind. So the thought of calming down for a moment and asking the black eyed child, hey, can we snap a selfie real quick? That thought just doesn't even enter their mind. Also, for those BEK encounters with a nearby closed circuit TV or surveillance camera, those cameras have been known to malfunction. There's something about the black-eyed kids that causes equipment like this to not work properly, become fuzzy or staticky, or just completely stop working altogether. So what are black-eyed children? I believe black-eyed children are some kind of interdimensional being, entering our world from some other plane of existence and then quickly disappearing back into it when they don't find entry into someone's house. The malfunction of the equipment that we just talked about may be an indicator that there is an energy field around them that causes this to happen, and it may be this energy that they use to travel from one dimension into another. We don't exactly know what their goal is outside of getting into your house, but there's a lot of speculation. Given the effects they seem to have on a person's psyche, the battle with the fight or flight response, they could be some sort of energy vampire and are feeding off the anxiety they cause in humans. However, since they want to get inside your home, there's something much deeper, something else that we haven't yet been able to discover. Their quick appearance and disappearance, probably from one plane of existence to another, makes it difficult to pin them down and find the answer. People will sometimes also draw parallels to the black-eyed children with men in black. Following sightings of UFOs and extraterrestrials, men in black seem to appear out of nowhere, or at least quicker than other authorities, to address the situation with the witness. They then seem to vanish without a trace. While the men in black certainly aren't children, and they don't have completely black eyes, there's definitely a disconcerting nature about these beings. Could they be casting a similar disconcerting aura, like the black-eyed children? While many men in black are likely mobilized by a shadowy government agency, there are some that are speculated to actually be interdimensional beings, or even extraterrestrials themselves. Could some of these men in black actually be related to black-eyed children, kind of like an interdimensional cousin? Similarly, I often get asked if black-eyed children are shadow people, but I don't believe they are. While they are certainly extremely creepy, BEKs simply don't share many of the similar characteristics that the various kinds of shadow people have with each other. First of all, black-eyed children are fully manifested. Their entire form is visible, including facial features, hair, arms and legs, and clothing. There are no dark faces devoid of any features about BEKs. They just look like children. They're just a bit off. Secondly, black-eyed children are extremely interactive. They walk right up to a person's front door, knock on it, and talk to the person who answers. They will carry on an entire conversation with a person to try to persuade the target to let them in until they're denied. Shadow people don't have these stand at your front door types of conversations with people. Finally, Shadow people don't need to be invited into your home. Shadow entities of all kinds will manifest in your bedroom, in your living room, in your basement, pretty much anywhere they like. They may manifest outside a window and stare in at you, but they won't knock on the front door. They'll simply enter of their own accord. Yes, black-eyed children are extremely creepy. They seem to come from nowhere and disappear without a trace, and they don the disconcerting black eyes. Certainly, they are either something supernatural or interdimensional, but they're not shadow people, although they may be another interdimensional cousin. You can read more about my thoughts on the relationship between black-eyed children and shadow people in my latest book, A Walk in the Shadows, A Complete Guide to Shadow People. And for more information about the supernatural, please check out our other videos off to the side. I'm Mike Ricksecker. Until next Friday night, 